If you clicked on this video, it is not a coincidence, but a divine appointment. Think of me as your destiny helper. Because today, I'll be showing you one of the best trading strategies when it comes to mastering Nasdaq. I've been using it for the past seven years, right? And since I learned smart money, it has really been amplified. It has really took the accuracy of this entry model and Nasdaq strategy to the next level and I want to really show it to you in this video so make sure you watch till the end I'm gonna break down in fact uh, as you guys know this is one of the episodes of school of entry so this is gonna amplify your entries when it comes to trading Nasdaq because it's an indexes you don't wanna be in a drawdown so this is gonna assure you of that so we're just gonna jump onto the screen right now okay family uh, so we are on Nasdaq right now on my M5 uh, chart and as you can see this is the trades that we took uh, we took a 1 is to 6 and we took a, a 1 is to 13 and I did send a signal to my signal group by the way on this and as you can see I've just marked my chart there at and I'm gonna show you exactly on how this works so I'm gonna remove everything I'm gonna break it down for you uh, in terms of exactly how to do it so I'm just gonna draw a few stuff for everybody that's watching us for the very first time especially beginner I just wanna draw up the foundation for you then we can get into the chart so this trading method is very easy family it's similar to the break and retest but there's more confluence to it and at the heart of accuracy there is simplicity so many of you might have expected a very uh, complex trading method no it is not going to be complex right so i want you within a trend and i'm going to show you how you're going to spot this right so let's say you have a bullish market right away okay on your m15 i want you to look for when structure is broken and the market pulls back to it and you want to take the trade but it's not just a symbol I want you to look for when the market creates an imbalance so when the market creates a big move breaking structure so if it's just a normal move uh, when the market breaks structure let's say it's just like just normal move the probability of it going back to a supply is very high right but if it's just like an imbalance right here and there is an order breaker here I want you to take it from there many people don't know where to take their entries from right in terms of when there is a fair value gap this is one of the most accurate trading strategies I see it a lot on the markets and I wish I can catch it every time but of course I'm not on the chart each and every day but this is the way family so you're gonna use the previous high over here and you're gonna take it stretch it across and you will see it where you mark your fair value gap probably let's say there's a candle right here and it also closed there and your fair value gap probably this is the gap it's gonna align with the other breaker right there so it's gonna be your breaker as well as your fair value gap and you're gonna enter right as it starts rejecting the very same goes with um, a bearish market right bearish market so let's say structure is okay and if it does this family if it breaks it like that the most probability is that it's gonna go to a supply in order to sell but if let's say it breaks it with so much momentum that you create an imbalance it's gonna want to it can't go back all the way there okay but the chances of it coming back to this um, previous lower low it's very high and that's exactly what I want you to treat it like it's gonna take a breaker there let me just take something here it's gonna take a breaker and as soon as it fills in that fair value gap it's also gonna give you an opportunity to actually execute yourself I hope you understand family and I'm not moving too fast I'm gonna if this is confusing when I'm drawing it I'm gonna go to the uh, chart right now and illustrate it for you okay yes it's not 100% trading strategy I'm not promising you 100% over here I'm just promising you a very consistent trading method that I have used as well in the past okay so as you can see I'm gonna go back to exactly what I, what, uh, I was seeing in the morning here because I did trade in the London session I just wanna go back to that okay let's 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 go back let's go back 
I don't I don't want to waste your time. I know you guys are in a rush. You watch YouTube videos in a rush. You get bored quickly. But anyway, let's go in. If you can just sacrifice a few minutes of your time for your destiny, I believe this is going to help you. So this is exactly what I, I saw, family, in the morning, right? In terms of the trend, okay? So, of course, if I can just break it down now, smart money in terms of break of structure over here okay we had created a low okay we can just say that is buy side liquidity okay and then of course we can now have this as you can see that was the previous lower high that the market broke okay that is our change of character okay so that is our change of character right there so me identifying this right I knew for exact sure that we're now in a bullish trend because that is the basics of a bullish trend or an initiation of a bullish trend, right? Or a start of a bullish trend. If you haven't watched my Smart Money class, I have a full series on it. Go and check it out. And also, if you're a first time viewer, subscribe to this channel. So seeing that, I've already noticed as well that the market actually hit uh, a demand level, uh, a demand zone over here. Okay, so it means that we're now actually about to go up. Okay, I went on to the M15. I just want to show you right now, M5 here, in fact. And as you can see, there was the demand level that the market used. Okay, I'm just going to refine it for you so that it shouldn't distract what I want to show you here. There we go. So seeing that the market is already left off that, the only thing that was now missing is to just wait for the market to really give me an entry opportunity so it took off here um, and of course I just waited okay so as it took off I just waited and of course I just want to show you now as it pulls back to this just want to show you there we go there we go okay so since we did have this move taking place I, I wanted to use a previous higher low or higher high or lower high and really get my entry because I knew for sure there was a lot of imbalance that broke this previous high and therefore that's what I was looking for okay so as you can see okay I took it over there let me just uh, okay so a breaker is created when the market breaks a certain supposed supply or demand in this case many people could have predicted this was going to be a supply level that was going to you know make the market to kind of go down right but it did not actually do that instead it actually placed the market to go up so but as you can see now i'm going to label it for you fair value get blast uh breaker this is a strategy i use every single day so of course as the market of course broke out came back to retest that that is was my trigger to actually, you know, that was my uh, catalyst to actually take this trade, okay? This takes place each and everywhere. It's not only limited on NASDAQ, as you can see, okay? And of course, I took it with this as well. I'm just gonna show you now. I'm just gonna show you where I put my take profit and I did take another trade, okay? And as you can see, it's quite obvious you saw the results. It took that. And as soon as it did that, I did mark another previous um, high there because the market did break with so much imbalance. As you can see, there was a lot of momentum that the market broke uh, that. And as soon as it did that, I knew for sure I just need to wait for this and the market will come back into it. Let me show you. Let me show you. Because it did go further up. And once it did that, I just waited for the market to come back to that. You, you shall see right now. There we go. It came back into that. As you can see, this was the second entry that I took on my side using the very same method that I'm just showing you right now. So if you're going to apply yourself, right, if you're going to give yourself time to go through the markets and look for this exact training method, I'm telling you, your life is going to change this takes place almost 80 percent of the time when the market moves there is never a day when the market does not move and does not give us this formation never a day family never a day okay so as you can see this was the setup that i took i want to go to um i want to go to gold okay this is gold right here this was the setup that i took on gold 
and, do, uh, and gold was a bit tricky I expected it to sell earlier on as you can see this was this setup I sent it to my mentorship discord okay so it was not the signal it was the mentorship discord and I deeply made them understand exactly what really happened here it was a supply let me just break it down for you there was a supply here as you can see the market created this whole supply uh, zone and the market tapped into it but I could not put my stop loss all the way up there so if we can go here I could not say I'm gonna put my stop loss because that's what the rules say I must put my stop loss above the zone so I could not do that I could not afford that kind of money right or to lose that kind of money therefore as soon as it hit I just wanted to look for the very same pattern that I'm just talking to you about right now okay uh, let's go let's go something like this right where the market let me just look for something where the market has created a low breaks it and I was just looking to uh, for this to pull back and that's how I took my entry so as you can see using this low here that's exactly what I did okay and the market did exactly that if we go into the one minute you will see it even way much better in terms of that whole thing where the market of course pulled I mean uh, went into the zone broke it with an imbalance or with a momentum candlestick as soon as it did that I knew for sure that I have to now just plot my entry uh, around about at this right here when the market started to pull all the way up so as you can see I'm just gonna show you right now I hope you guys can see it on your screen okay so right there that's exactly where I plotted my entry so this was the low and the market broke that low and as soon as it pulled back that's where I took my entry it was not a sniper entry per se but it was still a beautiful entry little drawdown this is little uh, drawdown when it comes to gold and as you can see this dropped beautifully over here one is to four one is to four but this was crazy amount of pips let me just see quickly this was 865 pips family and when it came to gold using the very same method that i just showed you i know it's a very simple video i am going to do a full-on class when it comes to smart money where i'm going to teach you from a to z everything that you need to know and of course we're going to do that as soon as we hit 20,000 subscribers so i need your help to get to that and i'm going to bless you with something in return it's going to be a very long video so do prepare yourself when you watch that video when it drops probably this friday or next week i'm going to make Make sure that I can drop that video for you anyway if you're still watching till now thank you so much please do subscribe like and share this video with your friends and family God bless you